So I'm currently in Greenwich or Greenwich Park. Um, it's right behind me. Uh, well, there's a church right behind me. The park is behind the church. And uh, today we're going to go look at the uh, Greenwich Mean Time Line Observatory and whatever else I happen to be able to find in this part of uh, basically East East London. And it uh, should be fun. Um, the rain has um, stopped, although um, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video. The clouds are moving and there's clearly unhappy clouds over there. A bit happier clouds over there, so it's going to be a bit of a rain, not rain day, but that's okay because um, if it rains, I got my rain gear on, so we're good. So we're just going to take a quick little stroll here across uh, this giant field that was behind the church that's before the forest, which is before the observatory. Yes, I can clearly know where I am as we make our way down towards this quite busy road and apparently quite a bit of walls, but there are tour buses, which is always a good sign. Sadly thinks my face is that tree. So let's stick with that, it's the tree. Um, so yeah, as you may guess, it's starting to rain. And it's actually kind of raining hard. So yeah, so I'm in Greenwich, I gotta make it there, and it is starting to rain. This is a great call by me, absolutely great call. It is really trying to track that tree. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna turn this all off because obviously everything's getting wet. So uh, yeah, that was thunder and lightning. And you know what they say, don't hide under trees. And of course, there's trees everywhere here. So I'm still making my way to the observatory, which is somewhere, but I thought it was like a giant field. It's like fields with trees and walkways everywhere. So you can't really see that far ahead. So I'm just following the map on the phone and hopefully I will find the Greenwich, the Royal Observatory in Greenwich and the Greenwich Mean Line, which is really what I'm here to look for. And uh, yeah. It's still raining, although the rain stopped. Unless you're in London. If you're over there in London right now, you got a thunderstorm going on. So, yeah. Weather. And now it's starting to rain again. Astronomy Society of Canada because um, I'm at an observatory and it miraculously stopped raining when I came to the observatory. Um, so yeah, so I'm taking a look at the grounds. They gave us little talky walkie boxes and uh, yeah, that's the Greenwich Mean Line right behind me, right there. I'm almost certain that uh, it's accurate, you know, because why would they lie? Although I don't think it's accurate to the U.S. system. I think the U.S. system is off by like 100 meters. Um, so anyhow. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool and uh, yeah, got a cool photo. So I'll share that and uh, we're going to check out uh, some next stuff. I don't know what else is here, but the thing. So I'm going to go into, I think the Meridian Observatory. Right over there, somewhere over here. That's it there, I think. Uh, shop. In which case I'm going to go somewhere else. So yeah, this is me at uh, the Greenwich Observatory, or Royal Observatory in Greenwich, whichever way. I think everyone knows that. So yeah, just over here, and I'll pop it over, is Transient Telescope. So it's, as stars pass past the primary medium, um, this can look at them. Here, we'll hit this, and now you can see it. So yeah, that's, um, that's the... Uh, very famous telescope. Now, there's a couple other ones that were used in the past, um, which I'll see if you've seen pictures of, and uh, those were the where it used to be, but now it's moved as uh, they've installed a new telescope. Behind me is the Camera Obscura, so I'll post sort of how that works in the blog. Um, but basically, it's uh, designed to be used for solar observing and other stuff like that. But um, idea being, is it uses mirrors and stuff, and then it. Um, 
projects the object on a table in the dark and then you look at it in the dark. So I took a picture of it with my camera so you can see it. It is still kind of raining on and off here, but so far so good. And yeah, this is kind of a neat experience. I'm really glad I came all the way out here. Okay, so this is actually an obscure picture. It's not actually there. I put my hand over it. Ooh, pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Couldn't do this with my iPhone, but <laughs> this is not my iPhone. And this is just a quick photo outside for comparison. So it's getting pretty windy outside and uh, I'm trying to take a video of myself here trying to uh, show you the uh, equatorial telescope uh, observatory dome which is behind me but uh, yeah it just got really really windy so I'm just tossing the audio here but just wanted to say it's sitting on top of the other observatories. So behind me is the uh, Great Equatorial Telescope. That's uh, just slightly uh, to the right of the uh, Greenwich Mean Time. <coughs> uh, it's 28 inch diameter uh, fractor. And uh, yeah, it's pretty big. And yes, I have it all to myself, moo ha ha. Actually, there's a giant tour group coming in behind me, so I do need to, you know, keep moving. But apparently the ball's going to drop at 1 o'clock, uh, which is in about 3 or 4 minutes. So uh, I'm going to finish this part of the tour and uh, head out. Hey, <laughs> Inside the observatory, there is historical information about the various astronomers who held residence, such as John Flemsteed and Edmund Haley, who were the first astronomers at the observatory. There is also an extensive section of the museum dedicated to the development of the marine clock by John Harrison, which is an important development for accurately determination of longitude during sea navigation, which is definitely worth checking out in addition to the telescopes set up in the main building. Um, up here is the observatory that we were just at. You really can't see it until you're almost there. It really is like surrounded by trees that are not taller than the observatory, but just tall enough. Anyhow, so it's quite nice. Um, the sky is kind of almost turning blue. I'll turn around here maybe. It's probably all looking white blown out, but <laughs> that is some bluish behind. Oh, there it is. Blue, blue skies. So yeah. Um, other than that, it's a pretty uh, basically uh, crazy day. Um, whoops. And uh, yeah, so we're heading to now this direction. I've totally rotated 180 here. And uh, we're going to go to uh, basically a naval or maritime museum. One or the other. We'll find out when we get there. Because I totally did not plan London. <laughs> 